First on five, Congressman Bradley Byrne spoke before 50 vocal Alabamians tonight. They came out to the Tillman's Corner Community Center to ask their congressman about a range of issues. News 5's Alan Carter has some of the hot topics and colorful commentary. It was a face to face for these constituents and their congressmen with no shortage of things to talk about. From the Second Amendment. Are y'all going to shut him down on all that gun control? What if people talk to him in Washington about the flat tax? And Syrian refugees. What we should be doing is financing those camps so that when Syria straightens out, they can go home. Congressman Bradley Byrne fielded the questions in his first town hall meeting of the year. I'm not against the people from Syria. I just don't think I can tell you I'm keeping you safe by letting them in. About 50 people showed up. All these are all dealing with immigrants. Who didn't hold back. Well, look, if he comes down here, tell him we got a bunch of Alabama boys that are locked and loaded. <laughs> well, you know, you can get all the public opinion polls you want. You can listen to what all the experts around the country say. But I represent these people. These are my people. That's who I live with. These are my neighbors. And I'd rather hear directly from them what's on their minds than have somebody else tell me what they think is on their minds. But the most reoccurring theme had to do with veterans and their continued problems with the VA. They said, well, if we approve it, you'd have to go to the doctor that we choose. Well, I've been going to this guy for five years now when the VA wouldn't do anything. I've said over and over again, we should get the federal government out of the health care business, give these veterans a qualify health care card, let them go wherever they want to to get their health care because the veterans system has failed them. In closing, Byrne also made remarks about this year's election. But I just ask you to do two things. The first one is, know your candidate. Make sure you know him. And the second is, make sure you pick the person that's got the highest likelihood of winning. There are many times when I see somebody say, I really like that guy. And that guy's got no chance of getting elected. Mitchell says that he wasn't talking about any candidate like in particular. Uh, that's just a general statement. It doesn't do any good to throw your vote away. Right. Yeah. Sometimes you vote for somebody that makes you feel good, and sometimes you vote for somebody and you, and you get somebody in that's going to do a better job than the other person. And I'm just asking people to think it through. In Mobile, Alan Carter, News 5. And if you missed out on this town hall meeting this afternoon, there's another one scheduled in Baldwin County this week. It'll be Thursday at the Magnolia Springs Community Center at 2.30. It is free and open to the public.